What's up guys, I'm Brandon Frank P. Today we're gonna be checking out the Steam Link app, which lets you play your entire Steam library and all your games directly on your smartphone. You can see right here, I have my full library and it's streaming right from my PC behind me. So it's pretty interesting, it just came out. It's still an early form beta, but you can go and download it right now. So in this video, we're gonna check it out for you guys, go through the whole setup process, show you how to do it, what you're gonna to need to get this up and running, and ultimately, you know, the whole experience and if it's even worth it. So first off, as a disclaimer, like I said, this is still the beta. This was released to the Google Play Store at the end of May, so I assume it's gonna be up and running with the full version pretty soon because for the most part, the app seems pretty polished. Now what the Steam Link app is, is essentially big picture mode, but on your phone. You could search the Steam store, go through like the chat, the web browser, go through your entire library and all that stuff. It's the same exact Steam big picture mode we've always had. Now let's check out how to set it up. So when you first download it and boot up the app, there are three things really to uh, get the whole process going. First is gonna be obviously having Steam installed on your PC and boot it up already, so you can link those two. The second is you need an actual Bluetooth controller. Now you can use their Steam controller or use just whatever Bluetooth controller you have lying around, but you do need a controller to obviously play these games. We'll get to more on this in a minute. And the third thing is gonna be your internet connection. You must have your phone's Wi-Fi connected to a five gigahertz connection and have your PC plugged into the router because you need a really, really good internet connection for this to work flawlessly. You can connect over 2.4 gigahertz, but it is gonna be practically unplayable because there's so much lag and hiccups introduced that if you want to actually play a game, you must be connected over five gigahertz. And then also on this kind of Steam Link dashboard, you can go into your settings and kind of change up your streaming connection, whether you want it to be fast, balanced, or beautiful, as they say. You can go in and test your network, and also in the uh, advanced settings, you can change kind of like the bandwidth limit and the resolution limit if you really just want to get a, uh, a better, smoother stream. And then once you're in, you have your full library of games to pick from that you can play now on your phone instead of being tethered to your desktop or just to your PC. You can play this in the living room if you want. Kick back on the couch and relax and play some games casually while you're relaxing on your phone. And the quality is really good too, since you're pretty much just streaming what's on your display. If you have your, your game set to you know, like ultra or the best graphics possible, that's still gonna be portrayed on your phone. And since most phone sizes are like five to seven inches, you have that really, really great resolution, kind of scaled down to the smaller screen, but it looks fantastic. Something else I thought that was cool is if you add non-Steam games to your Steam library, say like Overwatch or Far Cry 5, which is from like, you know, Uplay and Blizzard, if you add those to your Steam, you can then boot it up here and still play it on your phone, which is kind of like a, a hack or a workaround. So, so far my experience has been pretty good with it. Yes, I still do experience minor, you know, bugs and hiccups with the app, but it's still in beta, so that's understandable. You can just see right here, there really isn't that much of a delay. I'm sure if I got real, you know, technical, there's probably a pretty significant millisecond delay, but nothing, you know, that's gonna be immediately noticeable to your eyes. But I still probably wouldn't recommend playing like PUBG or anything with this, because first off, you're using a controller and mouse and keyboard is gonna be superior to that. And even if there is like a half a second delay, you probably won't notice it, but it's there and your competition's gonna have the advantage. At the time of filming this video for you guys, it's currently mid-June right now, and like I said, the app is still in beta. This is only available on the Google Play Store. You can only use the Steam Link if you have an Android phone. And the reason being, it's completely stupid, but it is a total Apple move. They rejected the app from the iTunes Store because they wanted a higher percentage of the money that they would earn when people go through on the actual Steam Link app and would buy games through the Steam store. So they wanted a higher percentage, so they rejected it until they can kind of revise that. Completely stupid, but uh, there has been talks recently that it's been resubmitted and with the recent revisions to the iTunes store, that it's probably gonna be coming to all iPhones in the next month or so or when the app gets you know uh, pushed out to the full release. But right now, you can only get this on the uh, Google Play Store and on your Android phone. Now taking it back a bit, if you guys remember in October of 2015, uh, Steam actually, or Valve, released an actual Steam Link box, which is the physical, tangible form of what this app is trying to do. But this would let you stream all your Steam games to your TV. But now this is really kind of in an awkward place because the Steam Link app is free and you can now have all your games on your phone and some phones even let you know stream your content to a TV. So the Steam Link is kind of in an odd place right now. I still love it, but uh, it's just kind of odd because now you have a free app. 
But the one thing that's kind of been the biggest takeaway for me has been the peripherals. Like you have to use a Bluetooth controller. I here have my uh, SteelSeries Stratus XL. It's pretty affordable and overall a pretty good uh, Bluetooth controller but it's awkward because you have to use both hands on your controller, which leaves your phone just, you know, propped down somewhere. Maybe you have it lying down on your desk or you have like a phone stand. You have to use something with that because you can't hold a controller and your phone at the same time. Now, yes, there are some things like uh, certain like attachments or certain cheap ones on Amazon that you can buy that have like an actual kind of holder built into the controller or they have those ones on Amazon where you can like stretch the controller out and put your phone in the middle. But those usually have pretty poor ratings. So it's kind of just awkward if you have a Bluetooth controller already like I do, or if you already have the Steam controller or like a PS4 controller where you want to use your own controller, but you then just have to find a way to prop up the phone where you could use it. It is kind of odd overall. And it really kind of brings this whole experience to that. Like it is just kind of odd. I don't know if I want to play my Steam games on my phone. Um, it's maybe it's just me, but I don't really think this is a hundred percent necessary. I would still prefer the steam link, like the actual product, which is definitely more affordable. Now it's not 50 bucks anymore. And steam usually has these for like $5 whenever there's a big steam sale. So I'd rather be in an environment where I can kick back on my couch and play my games instead of just having it like awkwardly on my phone. I just really haven't had a certain scenario in life where I've been like, ah, oh, well, I can play this game, you know, on my couch, on my phone. I don't know, but. This is the Steam Link now, still in beta, so keep an eye on it. It should be coming, uh, getting a full release soon, as well as coming to the, you know, the iTunes store. So I want to do a little video on it for you guys, showing you how to download it, how to set it up, and just how to play your Steam games on your phone if you download Steam Link. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you did give this video a thumbs up to show your support, feel free to follow me on Twitter at RandomFrankP. You can comment down below if you have any questions about this. I'll try to try to answer it for you. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.